Hi, this is question 3 from the AQA call for January 2013 exam paper. Um, in this video, I'd first of all like you to try the question yourself, so if you could pause the video now and have a go. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go at the question. I'm now going to go over a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. For part A, the first part of part A, we want to express 3 cos x plus 2 sin x in the form r cos x minus alpha. Um, what you want to do first of all is um, use your we'll use your trig identities. And uh, now what you want to do is you want to um, see if you can write r cos x minus alpha um, in this form here and then compare that to what you've got over here and see if you can decide what r cos x is and what r sin x is um, and then um, use that to um, work out the angle and work out what r is. Okay, part two says hence find the minimum value 3 cos x plus 2 sin x uh, and the value of x in, in, in this range here. Um, so um, once you've got it in this form here you will hopefully be able to decide how you can make um, you, the cosine, so this part here, um, what's the minimum value this could be first of all and what value of x is going to make it that minimum value. Okay, part b um, you want to show that this is equal to this so um, again you want to use your identity for cot x what's cot x in terms of cos x and sin x um, and also for sin 2x again you can use your trig identities if you can't remember any of your double angle identities so you can use this here and say well sin 2x will be sin x plus x so I should be able to write it in this form here um, and then you manipulate that using your identities to see if you can make it um, look like this here. For part two, um, it says hence or otherwise solve this equation. So this is the equation it's asking you to solve is equal to zero. Um, you've already found that this is the same as this. So my guess is you want to use this is equal to zero. Um, and then decide um, how you can go about solving that equation. Okay, so if you'd like to um, have a go at the question yourself now, um, and I'll go over the answer shortly. Okay, I'm now going to go over the full solution to this question. I'm just going to create a little bit more room because there's going to be quite a lot of working out that we need to do um, for this question. Okay, so starting with part A, um, we want to express 3 cos x plus 2 sin x in this form here. And um, what I said is that we want to write this um, using this identity here. So I'm first of all going to say, well, r cos x minus alpha is going to be equal to, um, and if I use a is x and b is alpha, then x minus alpha is going to be cos x cos alpha. Um, and what I need to remember actually is that I um, I should have a r in front of that because we've got r cos x minus alpha, so that's going to be r cos x cos alpha. Um, and it's a subtract, so over here it's going to be a plus, so it's going to be plus um, sine x sine alpha, it's going to be plus r sine x sine alpha. Okay, so now this is the same as this over here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to compare this to here. So I've got cos x here and cos x here, and I've got a 3 here. So that means the r cos alpha must be equal to 3. So r cos alpha is going to be equal to 3. Over here, 
I've got my sine x and my sine x and I've got a 2 here which means that r sine alpha must be equal to 2. Okay so um, now what I can do is um, if I do this divided by this so that's r sine alpha over r cos alpha or the r's will cancel each other out and sine alpha over cos alpha is equal to tan alpha and tan alpha um, well r cos alpha over r sine alpha is going to be equal to 3 over 2 so that tells us that tan alpha is going to be equal to 3 over 2 which follows that alpha and if I put that into my calculator it tells me that alpha is going to be equal to 33.7 degrees. Okay, now similarly if I square this and square this and add it together I'm going to have r squared cos squared alpha and r squared sine squared alpha so that's going to be r squared times cos squared alpha plus sine squared alpha and that's going to be equal to 3 squared plus 2 squared and 3 squared plus 2 squared is 9 plus 4 which is 13 ok and cos squared alpha plus sine squared alpha using our trig identities is just going to have a value of 1 so that's telling me that r squared must be equal to 13 or r is going to be equal to root 13 now it could be plus or minus root 13 but we've been told in our question that r is going to be greater than 0 so our solution is going to be, well, what we found out is that 3 cos x plus 2 sin x is equal to root 13 cos x minus 33.7 degrees. Okay, right, so um, moving on to part 2. Um, we now want to um, find the minimum value of this um, and the value of x in which interval um, where this minimum value occurs. Okay, so we're looking at this part here and um, well my minimum value is going to be when um, this is as small as it can possibly be and because our cosine graph um, goes between a maximum value of 1 and a minimum value of negative 1 well the um, lowest this, this could possibly be is negative 1 so my minimum value is going to have to be negative 1 times by root 13 so it's going to be um, negative root 13 okay so when is this going to happen well when is it going to be that this here is going to be negative one well if we think about our um, cosine graph well um, it hits negative one here and this is going to be 180 degrees so um, when this is 180 degrees um, we will get our minimum value well um, x would have to be um, 180 plus 33.7 degrees um, for when that occurs so we're going to have um, x is going to be equal to 180 degrees plus 33.7 Degrees, which gives us 213.7 degrees so when that's 213.7 degrees this is going to be 180 which this is going to be negative 1 and that gives us a minimum value of negative 13 ok I'm just going to tidy up um, my area a little bit ok so moving on to part B um, we want to show that cot x take away sine 2x is equal to cot x times cos 2x 
Okay, whenever I'm, um, whenever you go on to a question that's involving um, the double angle or trig formulae, then um, I think it's always useful to start by writing down um, what the what the identities are. So I'm going to start by writing down the um, sine two x is equal to. Um, and some people memorize these, or you can just take it straight from here because sine x plus x is sine 2x, so that's going to be sine x cos x plus cos x sine x, which is basically 2 lots of sine x cos x. Um, and cos 2x is equal to, and um, so that's going to be cos x plus cos x, so that's going to be cos squared x take away sine squared x and it's useful to write this down in in three different forms so one where it's just involving cos x um, so cos squared x take away sine squared x is cos squared x take away one take away cos squared x so that's going to be two cos squared x take away one And if I was going to write it in terms of sine squared x, well, that would be 1 take away sine squared x, take away sine squared x, so it's 1 take away 2 sine squared x. Okay, so I'm just going to stick those over here because um, once they're written down, as we're working things out, we can just um, look at these and, and get the bits that, that we feel that we need. So I'll just stick that over here for the time being. Okay, so um, going back to this question, we want to show the cot x take away sine two x is equal to this over here. So I'm going to start by saying, well, cot x take away sine two x. Well, that's going to be equal to um, cot x is cos x over sine x. And sine two x. Well, um, oh, it looks like I'm going to try and get something in terms of um, cos x eventually. So um, sine two x. I'm going to write that down as two sine x cos x. Okay. So um, if I um, want to do the subtraction, write it as a single term then I need the common denominator of sine x so I um, will have cos x take away and I would need to multiply this by sine x I'll write it out in full so that's sine x take away so this is going to be the same as 2 times the, the sine squared of x cos x over sine x okay so this and this mean the same thing but it now means I can do a subtraction um, so that's going to be cos x minus 2 sine squared x cos x all over sine x now this here um, will factorize and I'll get um, cos x and then in brackets I'll have 1 minus 2 sine squared x over sine x and this will simplify, well cos x over sine x is cot x so we're going to have cot x times by 1 minus 2 sine squared x but you might notice from here that 1 minus 2 sine squared x is the same as cos 2x so um, I could just write that as cot x whoops, times by cos 2x and there you go and that's what we were trying to um, turn this into cot x times by cos 2x okay so um, before I move on to part 2 I'll just tidy up this area again Okay, so uh, part A is over here, part B is over here, and I've just moved the identities down here. Now, um, the second part of part B uh, 
Okay, so we want to hence or otherwise solve this equation here. Yeah. Cot x take away sine 2x is equal to 0. So that's that here. Um, so we want to use this bit here. Cot x cos 2x is equal to 0. Okay, so um, for, for this to be true, either cot x needs to be equal to 0. or cos 2x needs to be equal to 0 yeah so one of the two needs to happen okay we'll deal with this side first of all um, well cot x is the same as cos x over sin x so that needs to be equal to 0 which means that cos x would have to be 0 Okay, and, and in order for cos x to be equal to 0, then x is going to have to be um, 90 degrees or 270 degrees. Um, but our range is between 0 and 180 degrees. So um, using that solution there, we've got x is equal to 90 degrees. Now over here, we've got cos 2x is equal to 0, um, which again means that the 2x is going to have to be 90 degrees or the 2x um, be 270 degrees um, well because x was between 0 and 180 then 2x must be between 0 and 360 so this is still going to be within our range so if 2x is equal to 90 degrees then we've got x would have to be equal to 45 degrees and if 2x is equal to 270 degrees that tells us that x would have to be equal to 135 degrees. Okay, so our solutions for x are going to be x would be equal to 45 degrees, 90 degrees, and 135 degrees. Um, and there you go. Okay, thanks very much for joining me for that, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.